Hey, it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and you do not know how happy I am to be here today. Uh, okay, before I jump into this, remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, that's how we can get this video, get some traction, get it on the algorithms, and get to uh, become an art star. Um, listen, it happened. So, we got COVID, and it was ugly. So, it's weird because this whole channel, this whole project of these videos came about by creating a safe space, right? Not wanting to go outside, creating a space where we can make art together and stay home to avoid COVID. Um, so it was, it was amazing. So then to get it two years down the line, I'm super, super grateful that uh, it wasn't as strong because we were already vaccinated. We knew what to expect. Um, so I can't complain. I feel very privileged and very happy to be on the other end of it. But having said that, um, hmm, it was ugly. Uh, at some point, I was a puddle on the couch. I thought, let me drift, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even being uh, dramatic. I thought it was like, okay, it's just easier to kind of drift off. But no, um, and you know, it's really easy to go to dark places when things are happening like that, but it's just as easy to turn it around, right? In the darkest part of, of one of my like delusions while I was a puddle in bed, I kind of hallucinated for a second, honestly. And I thought of my sister, I have a sister, I have a few sisters, but I thought of my younger sister and I was dancing with her in Sweet 16, which is something we did. Um, it was a very beautiful moment. And for an instant, I was about to get really depressed and be like, oh, I'm not gonna see her again and blah, 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 blah. But then I thought, no, oh, I remember, I remember. I gotta, I gotta flip it and make this a positive, right? I have to remember the good feeling of it. Not that it already happened and went away, but that it happened and I get to keep that feeling. So I did, and it did all the difference, right? Just for, and it, it sounds cheesy, but listen, when the dark comes, you know, you just gotta, it's like that match. You gotta just strike it and, and let the light in. And then that moment of, um, of darkness was like, oh yeah. You know, we had this beautiful party and, and we waltzed to Anastasia, the, the, the movie, uh, the soundtrack, and, um, and we had a beautiful moment. So I kept playing that in my head and, and I was like, okay, I can get through this. I'm, I'm dancing in the air with my sister. Um, so we're okay, Elvis is okay. Uh, he had a much different experience. He has a better uh, system than I do, I guess. Uh, I was like, I'm going to this, leave me alone. Uh, but we're here, we're on the up and up. So if you've had it, I, I, I sympathize with you. I hope you're doing better. Um, if you haven't had it, please be very careful. You do not want to get this. Even at this stage where it's a little bit less severe, it's still intense and really gross. Um, but if you know someone who's alone, my goodness, you know, give them a hand. A little bottle of Pedialyte at the doorstep or something really goes a long way because you really have absolutely no desire to do anything. And that's bizarre for me because I did collage while I was kind of ailing, but still, like, you get very, you don't want to do anything. Um, so, much light and love to the world. Uh, <laughs> we're not over the woods, out of the woods yet, but we'll get there if we take care of each other. So, I'm super glad that I can sit upright and <laughs> be here with you. Uh, I have my water and my coffee on the side, um, but stay hydrated, even if you don't have COVID. Drink water, it's good for you. Um, so I, today I wanted to talk about uh, the digital collage kit because it's really exciting and, um, and I think it'll be really helpful for me just to kind of get through things uh, using it. Ideally, the digital collage kit is to be used through your digital platforms, right? So via Photoshop or um, Procreate, uh, it's really easy to just kind of take an image and manipulate it. So take a look at this. I can't even go anymore. Okay, take a look at this. Um, this is an image that I did with Photoshop. So I, I think there's seven images here that I combined from the kit to create this. Uh, this is a really fun cover. And with every kit that I make, I, I always make sure to include a prompt, right? And the prompt is there just to, as a guide. You don't have to follow it, but it's, it's a guide. Um, so for this, 
our guide, our prompt was superhero. And check that out, how, how perfect, right? The idea was to kind of create a superhero. There are three figures in the kit, just three, and you can pick one or just create your own superhero from scratch using your own photographs. But this is an image that I that I sourced and I created her into a superhero. So there's this like, you know, androgynous image with um, covered eyes and, and they're like in this jungle and, and there's bananas. Uh, it was just kind of really evocative and really beautiful. So I thought that would be a really uh, great answer to the prompt. Um, I have three examples of some really great uh, collages that people have created from the kit so far. So stick around at the end and I'll share those with you. So really quick, I just want to share you more of what's inside and like anything, right? <coughs> like anything, always start making your piles. We're collecting joy here. So I'm going, I, I've assembled this. So all of this is a pile of joy for me, but let me get, um, let me get a little bit more fine tuned. I love this. This is from graffiti in Brooklyn. This is actually from the roof of a building where I had a studio and a gallery in Brooklyn. This is really beautiful. So this is the woman on the cover. Isn't that cool? So I transformed her into that. And again, you can do this analog. You can color her hair with markers, you can cut her out, or you can do it digitally. Um, this image I found, and the only description of the image was little Mexican boy. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little, little, but I'm a Mexican man. So at some point I was a little Mexican boy. So I really connected with this image. Um, and you get extra points if you use him. I also obviously connect with this guy who's reading at the park somewhere. Um, so these are the images. I don't know which one I'll use or if I'll use any of them. But, uh, so let's keep looking. Love this. Let's play with that. The jungle. Oh, isn't this beautiful? I found this pattern in Mexico when I was in Merida. And you find this influence, uh, Middle Eastern influence everywhere in, in Merida. Some brown angels. I went out of my way to create some brown angels because you hardly see any angels of color. So I thought, you know what? Beautiful mylar balloons. This is just a beautiful uh, image that I found. I didn't find it actually. Someone sent me, we ordered crystals and they came wrapped in this kind of like tissue paper that was kind of a throwaway from print. I thought I'll take it. Here are the bananas from the collar. This is really cool. I like this. They're sign language alphabet. This is just beautiful texture. More. This is great. This is from a street here in New York, I believe. This is also from a street in New York. Isn't that fun? A sticker wall. Here in New York, I'm sure everywhere in major cities, uh, there are places where you can just go put your stickers. Uh, people have collectively decided to do that. So this is beautiful. Oh, the rocks, the keys. This is fun because this is very much connected to all of our members and our community. Uh, a few months back, I sent everyone a key. Everyone got a key except for Matt Horner, who lost his key along the way. Um, puzzles, flowers. This is gorgeous. Okay, so I don't know. I'm, I'm so, so many options. I'm thinking I want to do something with this. I think the, the scale of it is really exciting to me. Um, I don't know. I'm going to take my time. Okay, so the truth of the matter is that you can do so much, right? So I was thinking today that because this is so simple, I can maybe create some cuts kind of like I did with the letters last week and uh, see what comes out. So let's, let's do that. I'm going to do that. Okay. So how are you? Uh, I hope you're well. <laughs> Um, have you had COVID? So I'm gonna play with this here real quick. You know, it's really weird because I'm pretty sensitive and, and an emotional being. Um, thinking about like, the, you know, this thing that, that, I'm, that we're going through collectively um, and how it affects different people in different ways. Uh, 
We just have to be patient with our body, bodies, and uh, not give in to the fear, because I think that's that's when it gets really dangerous, right? Because I really think it would have been really easy for me to kind of give in to that fear, and I'm so grateful that I'm with Elvis, who was, while he was also sick and I was taking care of him, then I got sick, um, he recovered really fast, and that was really good. Um, but uh, yeah, take care of yourself, guys. And take care of each other. Okay, so this is what I'm saying about just making some cuts and then kind of creating this little opportunity for peeking. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, this is gonna be really neat, I think. Okay, it also looks interesting if it's just white, right? But there's so much white already. So let's just play with this. So if you're, want to play with something like this on your end, think of cutting out shadows perhaps. And, and I think that might be a really good guide, right? So again, anytime you are collaging and you start doing something that's repetitive or kind of has, uh, is a little bit um, intense because I'm kind of going slow, uh, it becomes a meditative process, right? So this is a really good opportunity to kind of like decompress and zone out a bit, which we can all use. I know I can. Um, you know what's really funny? I enjoy a good drink, but I've been on like NyQuil. Not that that cures COVID, but it's put me to sleep. Uh, I don't want to like feel not lucid <laughs> for a bit. So I'm like, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, the lingering effects. No alcohol for me, thank you very much. But I'm still very much hooked up on my caffeine drip, if you will. Okay, this is gonna be really fun. So it's fun to kind of check, but don't get too caught up on checking this, right? Oh, I love it. Okay. I think this one will be really fun. So let me finish. I'm just going to do a little bit more incisions here. And again, this nice white is going to be great because it's going to be so contrasty towards everything else that's behind it, right? <clears throat> if you are a member, be sure to check out the playlist. I just put a new playlist on our members page. Um, and also if you've reached out to me and I haven't reached, <coughs> if I haven't reached back to you is because I've been out of it. Um, so I apologize for that. I'm usually a little bit faster, not really, but, uh, I'll get back to you. If you, if you have anything pending, feel free to reach out again and I will do my best to get to you. Okay. So check this out. So yeah, so this is really interesting, right? Because what we're doing here is we're subtracting, right? It's becoming a subtractive process. And this is gonna take someone, re someone really interesting, a little bit more subtle, um, which again, will make the eye uh, work a little bit harder. So I'm excited about this. This is gonna be fun. So as you're doing this, you also don't have to follow it. You can just create your own pattern as you go along the way. Um, and what we're doing here is also creating opportunities to use any background, right? And we can play around with that in a minute. So if you do buy this kit, you don't have to print all of them at once. You can just print one multiple times and see what happens and see where it takes you. The whole magic of it is a juxtaposition, right? Putting things that don't belong together, together and seeing what comes what stories, what, what patterns emerge. I must say, one thing that did help me during this whole COVID thing is my vanity. I was like, I have to go wash my face. I have to go put on a clean shirt. I have to go shower or something. It keeps you going because at some point you just need to sit up and you need to be like, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Even though you don't feel fully here, uh, but it's really helpful to kind of just, okay, decide to be present, right? And then your body will follow. I really believe that. But I'm not a doctor, so um, do 
Actually, I was gonna talk really bad about my doctor. Look at that, look how cool. I called my doctor and they were like, we're like, we have COVID. And they're like, we'll call your primary doctor. I was like, oh, that's not very nice, is it? Tell me we're gonna live before you choose to push me off to somebody else. Yeah, our systems are not meant to take care of us, you guys. That's why community is so important, right? Shared experiences and, um, and being there for each other. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. This feels nice. This feels very nice. Let's see where it takes us. And maybe this will just be my collage. Maybe it'll just be like this almost atmospheric collage. Or I can put a figure. We'll see. Early days, early days. So the contrast isn't as, in, isn't as intense here, but it looks good. So let's play with this. Hmm, see, it doesn't make, it doesn't register as much. That's interesting. The other one I thought would be cool was um, the really beautiful geometric, right? Ooh, maybe this blue too. Oh, maybe this red. See, so all of a sudden, a whole world opened up, right? I put it here. I've lost my geometric. I may have to speed this one up. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. No, it isn't. Ooh, this one might be too. All right, so we have all of these options that have just opened up. Where did it go, you guys? Oh, is it on my pile? I'm still... There you are, you're right there. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting, right? Okay, that's one option. I thought this would be really cool too. Mm, it doesn't really register, right? This doesn't really register. Maybe the red. This... Not really. A little bit. I kind of... Hmm. I kind of do like this a little bit. Uh, but maybe I need to make more opportunities for it to show through. But that works really well looking at it now, right? Um, yeah. Let's work a little bit more at this. I think something's happening here. Okay. So that really works because there's a consistent pattern, right? That, that, that is emerging that the eye can really latch onto. Okay. So a lot of people commented on last week's uh, video about the letters. I hope you try out collaging um, and drawing with your blade. Just remember, it has to be really sharp. And what I mean by, by that is, just like we're doing these um, these incisions, these can also be letters, right? They be words, uh, saying things. But because you're doing a continual movement, it needs to be sharp, the blade. Uh, and always try to cut away from yourself. I never do that, but you know, it's kind of hard, but it's, you don't want to get nicked in the pro, in the process. There's my Canadian accent. I'm not Canadian, but I love that accent. We love Canada. Okay. Yes. See, okay. I really do like this now. Okay. Let me just cut some here. All right. I think I need water. <laughs> As you're healing, give yourself, you know, time to hydrate. So let's see where this takes us. While I was um, a puddle on the couch, I did get to watch Prometheus again, which is a fun sci-fi movie. Have you seen that? It's kind of silly. Okay, I like this. This is fun. Um, and maybe I will use a figure. 
So figure is always an easy, uh, easier to do than something that doesn't have a figure, right? Because we can relate to the image of the figure opposed to just flowers. Um, but this is really beautiful. Something's happening here. Uh, because of the scale, I think I'm going to use the sky. And again, here I go creating a, a garden, a safe space, right? For this person, for this reader. So let's see where he goes. Let's see where we take this gentleman. Hmm, what are you reading? Oh, is he wearing bell bottoms? It's so cool. Remember bells? They were cool when I was a teenager. They were back in style. I wonder if they'll come back. Everything's cyclical, right? Everything comes back at some point. Okay. And while I'm doing this, I'm also wondering, what is he reading? So there is, oh, I'm trying to see, okay, here we go. There is a lot of stuff happening um, in the news, not only about war, about abortion rights, and you know, all this is a lot, you guys. Um, and in order to be able to take these things on, you have to be in a good headspace, right? So be sure to be, you know, clear-headed, strategic, and um, and take it from there. Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm so happy. What a perfect place. Okay, maybe I want to nestle in behind this beautiful cluster of petals over here. Um, because we're not going to get anywhere if we're, like, frantic, right? So I think this is a big tactic on... The oppressive side right to get us all riled up and, and angry that we can't have a clear thought so we have to be very strategic about how we address all of these attacks at our freedoms um, and I know I do have some heterosexual brothers out there watching this uh, video so please stand up for our sisters our wives our, our friends it's very much needed right now. Okay, I wanted to put him behind here, but it doesn't quite do anything, so maybe not. So it looks pretty good like that, doesn't it? Done it. Okay, I like this. So I'm just gonna secure this really quick. Hmm. Not where I thought I was going to go with this today, but I do like it. So, again, if you have a kit like this, you don't have to print it all. You can kind of pre-meditate your design or, or your choices, um, and then see where it takes you, right? Okay. See, it's very um, nuanced, the, the, the back collage, right? There's all this going here. And I do feel I could stop here, but I kind of need somewhere for my eye to rest. Um, because there's just so much pattern and activity that perhaps I can use this, yeah? And maybe this is where I want to draw. And I'm kind of just, there's nothing more soothing than pink and a nice round cloud of pinkness, right? Makes me think of uh, comic books, makes me think of the old Batman comic books or the show. So it looks like the comp, the book is saying something. Um, we can also just make it look. Oh, I love 
of that now. That looks really cool. Even if we did a little... button over here, so it looks like it's coming from there. Ooh, maybe two buttons. Buttons of fun word. Oh, isn't that neat? All right, yes, we're gonna do that. And for this, we're gonna use our frenemy, Mr. Glue Stick. Go. Oh yeah, this is really cool. All right, <clears throat> so we're creating <laughs> safe spaces here. We're playing, I love that pink block. I really do because it really offers something. Um, and as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, well, can I play with more geometry here? Because why not, right? So I like, I like this block and I like how it's like a square. So why don't we turn it into like a little diamond? So it almost looks like a square in perspective. Mm, you can't really see it much, can you? That's kind of interesting. It's not life altering as I wish it would be. <laughs> um, okay, I kind of like it. I also have these beautiful um, rocks. I think this one might be really cool. So these are actually images of crystals and rocks that Elvis and I collect. I wouldn't be able to tell you the names of them actually. <laughs> oh there we go, yes. Mm -hmm. Je l'aime beaucoup. How fun is he? Oh, I'm so happy and safe. <laughs> See? Sometimes all you need is a collage to find that safety and, and joy that you know exists in the world, right? Right? Right. All right, here we go. I think I'm done, you guys. Am I done? I think so. Um, I saw this in the corner of my eye and I thought, maybe this is a good thing. Okay, look, this is from a book cover of Met. I was going to say magic, but I think it was astrology. Magic all the same. So what if I use one of these circles? I love finding uh, magic books. Even though I don't quite read them, but I just love having them in my periphery. My magic is my collage work, but because my mother was into magic, or is into magic, it makes me feel closer to my ancestry, right? Oh, look at that. That's fun. Even if we take out the sun. Just kind of like a halo. Halos are always good. Okay. But maybe not. Do I like that? I kind of like the simplicity of that, but I do feel like it's missing something. That's kind of fun too. Mm. Oh yeah, I think I'll add it, right? Or no. Maybe put it back here. Something about that pink is really, um, it's a nice, place to zone out, to zen out. I like it here, okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Choices, 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 right? Okay. Just a little bit. So this is my collage. Um, what's going on here, you guys? I made a collage for my digital collage kit and there's so much to choose from, so much to work with um, that it's overwhelming in the best way possible. So I found my little reader and I created a safe space for him, uh, which is the only thing we possibly do in this world uh, to survive. 
so create your own safe space, create a collage and uh, take your cues. So what am I saying here? I obviously need a book. I obviously need my crystals. I need my space to think. And, um, and flowers, I guess I like flowers, yes I do. Uh, so let me share these amazing collages that I received from uh, three amazing artists really quick. Check this one out. So the first one is by Caron. Caron is in uh, France. Did I say that right, Caron? Um, so she's in France and she made this beautiful collage. And can you see, do you recognize some of these uh, elements in her collage? It's called A World Without Us. And I don't know if it could be any more perfect. Uh, you see some ducks that obviously she brought in, but then you see the dilapidated building. And look at those colors. Do you recognize the sticker wall in the back? How fantastic. Be sure to follow Karen. Um, she's just one of my favorite artists, really. Um, and then check this one out. This is from Joanne LaFrance. And Joanne has a great YouTube channel that you can follow as well. It will be linked in the description. And this one is called Tous ces mots utilité. No. <laughs> it's called Tu Tous ces mots inutile. All right. The jig is up. I can't speak French. I love everything French, but I can't speak it. It's the most beautiful language, but I can't speak it. At any rate, check this out. Isn't this amazing? So do you recognize the image? Here's another take on the image that I used for my superhero. But look, she used that halo and these um, words on the side. What I tried to say actually means all these unnecessary pains. Very, very cool. I also love the pattern she created, right? It kind of looks like it's whizzing down from up to down or down to up. And the last one I want to share with you is this one by Lindsay Henderson at Maggie EST. Follow her. Um, I got your back, an O2 Luis. That's me. Ah, she did a little superhero with the little Mexican boy. Ah, oh, Lindsay, thank you so much. This is so touching and it makes me feel so good. Um, check out the body language. Just like I was saying earlier, like at some point when you're sick, you kind of have to show up and be like, okay, I'm, I'm here for recovery. Um, it's all in the body language, right? Look at him. He's, he's found his backbone and he's ready to be a superhero. Uh, so that is super exciting. Um, I really hope that no matter where you're at in life, you can stand up and, you know, show up <laughs> for yourself and um, choose to be healthy, happy, and um, and present. Uh, so you guys, this is Luis Martin, the art engineer. I am doing well, uh, and so is Elvis, and we are so happy that we can uh, show up and be here together uh, from the safe space out. And um, take care of yourself, drink water. All right, ciao.